Okay, we're at hive number two here. And this hive, as compared to the other one, had fewer bees in it. But I didn't drop this queen. So uh, I'm hoping that, uh, that she's in there, that she's right and laying, and that uh, they're continuing to do well. I also would be just tickled pink if this hive were as calm as the other hive. Hive number one there has no queen. I'm 99% sure of it. Yet they are just the calmest, calmest bees you could imagine. So we'll see how these guys go. I'll start off not smoking them and just see how they go. Always look on the lid for the queen, you never know. This is a, a spider's nest. This is a jumping spider's nest. And they love these hive boxes. And, you know, at first I was pretty intent on getting rid of all the jumping spiders I found because the, the first time that they snatch one of your little baby bees right in front of your eyes, you get pretty mad at them. But the truth is they do control other pests. So they're taking out mites and ants and anything that comes within their reach. So I'm not too anxious about having them anymore. Uh, these bees are looking good. Okay, so they've eaten a decent amount of, uh, of uh, pollen here as well out of this pollen patty. Let's look for the queen on the lid. I don't see her. I always put the lid, try to put the lid near the front entrance anyway, just in case she does happen to be on there. Okay, let's have a look at this. Again, those first frames on the outside, they're just honey, so I'm not expecting the queen to be out here, but you never know. Amount of honey. I don't think they're doing much with it yet. That's fine. Don't see no queen here. First three are honey frames that I put in as their new feeding resource. This one is heavy with honey and bees. Holy smokes! Wow. So you can see that's where Robin stole the honey. So this was honey from a previous hive. And these bees are going at it, either moving the honey or using it to feed or to redistribute it in the hive somewhere as they see fit. Let's just make sure we don't have the queen here. These bees are moving a lot more rapidly than the other ones. They're not flying yet. In other words, they're not, you know, coming at me or anything. You can tell when bees really start to get agitated. They fly right at you. They hit your hands first. And they start bouncing off your veil, trying to sting you. And so far, so good. Look at how calm these bees are. Wow, it's a nice brood frame. So this is new brood. This was just uh, laid and capped by the current queen because I put this frame in and it was empty, very empty. Let's see if we can spot her on here anywhere. Nope, don't see her there, but over here. So this frame is getting jammed up with uh, with nectar 
You wouldn't expect to see the queen on this frame, but you will the odd time. Just because she doesn't normally visit, doesn't mean she's not there. There's some nice sunshine to be able to look at these guys. Again, backfilling a lot of nectar in these recently, in this recently hatched frame. Nothing wrong with that. Another beautiful frame that's hatched out brood. Let's look for the queen on here. Nice frame of brood here. Just ready to go any day. Another beautiful frame of brood. Look at that. A couple supersedure cells down here that I'm going to get rid of. So those are swarm cells down here. See that? So I was about to comment on the fact that this hive doesn't have any supersedure cells as opposed to the other one, but there's a whole bunch just on this frame. There's one, two, Another one being made there. And three, four. There's two more on this far corner. Look at this. See them right there? So I'm going to get rid of all those because I do not want... There's three more. Three more over there. All with larva in them. So I got rid of those because I do not want this hive swarming. Okay, let's have a good look at this side for the queen. give these guys a little puff of smoke. They have been perfectly docile. Of course my smokers are. So maybe I won't be giving them a puff of smoke. Putting the fuel over a bit. These, these, these are still pretty calm. There's just some weather coming in and they're just starting to show signs of uh, agitation. So well just a couple more frames I want to look at. Here's a frame just being filled with nectar. It's hatched out brood, so the brood hatched out from the middle here. You can see there's, oh no, this is a honey frame. This is all honey. No brood in there. Let me show you some sunshine. This would definitely be a frame where you'd like to see the queen laying some eggs. Another frame that they're filling up with honey and nectar. I'll have one more look for the queen here. Just honey. Just honey on this frame. So that's it. I'm not going to look any further. I've just got one frame to go there anyway. Um, I didn't find the queen, but I'm comfortable that she's in here. There is new brood and uh, new larva. I didn't see any eggs, but I really wasn't looking that hard for it. Uh, this hive seems fine. We're going to let it go. Let it sit for another week. Keep feeding it pollen and uh, check back with them. Here's something that I haven't seen every day. This bee just happens to be sitting up on this uh, on this cement block. It's quite alive, and it doesn't have a body. It's only half a bee. 
It's got one wing. It doesn't look like it's been squished or anything. It just looks like a birth defect. So that's something I'm definitely going to have to keep an eye on on this hive because that's not a normal bee. But it is alive. Go figure. Okay, so here's a mistake that I made just now. Um, I've got one hive over there that I'm saying is queenless. It's making a queen. I got a hive here that I feel has a queen in it, but they are making swarm cells. So those cells on the bottom, there are a good four or five of them. What I should have done is I should have taken that frame, shaken the bees off it, and put that frame into that hive. And that way there'd be more of a likelihood that a queen would be made successfully in that hive. So. Uh, that's something that rookie mistake that I'm really not a rookie. I should have known to do that I should have been looking for queen cells in this hive instead of looking for the queen um, So if I would have done that would have increased the likelihood of a queen being made in that hive I still think it's gonna happen both hives are doing well in the sense that they're very well behaved They've got a lot of resources. They've got a good amount of bees still being made So uh, we'll just keep looking at them once a week and thanks for joining me. Have 40 honeybee